Did you know that almost every set of old school cars has alternate print runs, just like modern cards? Let's discuss. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. Okay, so let's compare to, uh, let's start with modern cards, right? Let's look at modern examples. Stuff like Ultimate Masters and Corio, we've seen Rudy open and comment on. You know, you have pull tabs on some uh, packs. Sometimes you open it and the rare is right after the land. It's like the second or third card in the pack, right? And sometimes it's in the back. What's the difference? Well, one is printed in Japan and one is printed in the United States. Some say the Japan cards are higher quality. They're glossier. They are, uh, you know, they're sharper. There's less centering problems. There's less condition problems right out of the pack. Is this true? I don't know. I mean, I know that there's different printers in Japan and in America, but the quality thing, you know, that needs more confirmation. It's anecdotal. Now, this has been going on a longer time than you think. This has been happening to um, magic sets since back in the day. And now let's talk about it, right? So they would traditionally be printed in the United States and Belgium at Cardamundi. I mean, ever since back in the day, right? We all know that at Cardamundi that has been printed there. But what we haven't really done is compare them side by side. I have one video a long time ago of opening two Exodus packs. I pulled a survival of the fittest and that kind of overshadowed the true meaning of the video, which was to compare the cards and see the differences, right? So the one from Belgium versus the one from the United States. The one from the United States tends to have duller corners, like they left the blade, the die cutter longer in between replacing it. Uh, maybe it got duller. Maybe the Belgian one was just more assiduous uh, at switching them out. So we don't know that. We know that there's different card stock. We know that the surface is a little bit different. We know that the centering tends to be better on the Belgian ones, that the edges are crispier, that the colors are a little bit more saturated. So there is a difference. The Belgian ones are a little bit higher quality. I can almost, I'm not gonna guarantee, but I bet you if you submitted, like you open a bunch of Exodus, right? A bunch of US prints and a bunch of Belgian prints and you separate out all the hits and you have the same amount of hits from both, right? And you submitted them all that the Belgian ones will get higher grades than their counterparts in the United States ones. I can't guarantee such a thing. I can only say that from anecdotal, uh, evidence and experience that it's possible now what does this mean uh all right let's first let's talk about how to identify uh belgium boxes you know first of all it's gonna say it on the bottom of the box look this says made in the usa somewhere here in all these little words so you make sure to read them let me see if i can find it okay oh i'm doing it upside down maybe it'll help if i do it normally let's see Wizards USA printed by made in the USA. You see that right above my finger? Yes, made in the USA. Okay. So clearly it says that, right? But another way you can tell is the seal. This like thinner plastic that goes all the way around. You know, those types of seals. This is the United States print. That's how they did it in the United States. How they did it in Belgium, that's where these round seals come into play. And the plastic is a little bit thicker gauge. So that's how you tell them apart. You know, if you didn't want to read the words on the bottom, I, I don't know. But maybe it's a way to tell uh, counterfeit boxes. If you see that full seal and it says Belgium on the bottom, you know, that's uh, some BS, right? That's true too, right? I didn't even think about that. Anyway. Now, what's the implications of this? Does that mean that the Belgian packs are better? That because you can get higher grade ones, they should be worth more and that they're higher quality? Should they carry a premium? I don't know. It's just something I've been thinking about recently. Maybe it should. What do you guys think? Let me know uh, if you have experience with the different sets too. Like I know there's individuals out there who collect specifically the Belgian ones versus the United States or collect both. I'd like to hear from some of you people. Um, yeah, so that's the difference. That's the whole spiel on Belgium versus U.S. cards. If you're going to be buying any of these today, uh, you know what? One more thing. I would like them to, 
uh, you know how in Arabian Nights you say light and dark versions? I mean, it's a variation, right? Shouldn't we also say Belgium and U.S. prints? I don't know. It's tough to tell apart. I mean, in, fall, in fourth edition, you have alternate fourth, but it's easier to tell apart, but not quite. I mean, shouldn't we? It's something to consider. If you're going to be buying any cards today on TCG Player, remember to use my affiliate link in the description. It is free to use, and it helps a lot if you just click on it and shop like normal. Otherwise, you saw the Onslaught box. That is the November box. Oh, actually, Block Break. We're doing all three boxes from the Onslaught uh, block. In November so that's the patreon if you want to be part of this type of stuff we got weather light in December check it out and uh, yeah cool stuff otherwise uh, we got pins we got the first two we got underground sea and plateau cross with my logo and remember to like and sub comment below take care have a nice day everyone I will see you soon Peace. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. What the fuck are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Maybe we can build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that?